What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm super excited for this one. So we're talking about how to learn lighting for film. Today, I actually want to do something that I personally love to do, and it's reverse engineering scenes. So that we're going to be taking Oppenheimer, one of the best movies I think of all time, personally, and we're going to be breaking it down and seeing what Hoyt Van Hoytma did uh, you know, trying to, trying to dissect and trying to figure out what he did. And I think this is such an important thing to do because you can watch a movie and you can be like, Oh man, that, that was, that was a cool movie. That was a beautifully shot movie, but to be able to just stop and like take stills from the movie and just really look at them like really. And then, you know, be able to zoom in and, and dissect things. That's really, really powerful. So that's what we're doing today. And I'm going to show you you know, me real time doing this. Like I'm, I'm not, uh, I didn't, I, I downloaded these from shot deck and I've looked through them a tiny bit, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to show you real time how my brain kind of thinks through this. So let's just get right into it. No, uh, no wasting time around here. Let's just get to it. So starting off with one of the, uh, coolest scenes, I think when he's, when Oppenheimer's laying here and he's envisioning smart things, uh, so the first thing that I'm going to be looking at is the catch light in his eye. That's one of the first indicators of telling me where this light is coming from. So based off of that, it's not super far off. It's not here. It's, you know, it's, it's right on the top of his eye. And so that's telling me that that light's coming from, you know, this direction. Now, the second thing that I'm going to be looking for is how big that light is. And it's actually not super big. I, I, I kind of thought it would be bigger based off of how soft this is, but I think it's because of the direction of the light that we're, we're still getting a really nice soft roll off. Um, but it's not this massive soft light. Um, so it's probably, you know, decent sized light, pretty close. Um, the second thing that I'm going to be looking for is the shadow of the nose right in here. So it's, there's, there's not like a hard line on the shadow of his nose. It's pretty, it's pretty soft. So again, that's going to be telling me that this is a, a very soft light. And then the last thing that I'm going to be looking for is, you know, the, the roll off from this part to here. You know, there's a very soft transition uh, that's not meant to be a frowny face. Um, but there's, you know, it's a very, very soft transition. So, yeah, I mean, it's, you know, nothing crazy here. Um, I, it's, it's, that's a pretty simple lighting setup, truthfully. Nothing, nothing too crazy. Let's move on to the next one. So this is, this is a really cool scene. I, I, when I was looking at this, I was like, ooh, this is, I think this one's important. So um, if you've seen the video that I put out, uh, let's see, I think that was either December or January, I, I was talking about outdoor lighting, using modifiers for outdoor lighting. So one of the first things that I want to point out about this scene, you can tell that this light is is a hard light. It's not, um, you know, the sun is, it, it's not like, I mean, there is clouds in the sky and maybe for like this scene, they waited, but I, I don't think so because how, how hot it is back here, um, tells me that the sun was out, but they used a modifier. So let's look at this real quick. So we've got this backlit right here. The sun's hitting the back of his head. And then we've got this nice catch light in his eye. So that's telling me that they're using probably a bounce board. I, I would be shocked if they're using um, a, a light. It looks like, honestly, the, the, the shape of it, it looks like um, some sort of a bounce board. So that's returning light from the sun onto his face. Man, that's a terrible arrow. I don't know what the heck that is returning light onto his face here. And it's actually, I mean, it's more um, coming from like this direction, but that's giving that, that lift in his face to, um, you know, not be totally gone in the shadows. Um, now, because 
of uh, the direction that that is, her face is now here. And, and you can see they obviously repositioned for this because if the sun's here, if it's coming from back here and it's smacking her there, that would not translate to the light coming from here. Do you see, you see, do you see that? So they, they repositioned her, which is totally fine. That's there's, I mean, you would not like, like the only reason why you notice that stuff with this kind of stuff is because you're, you're pointed out. Um, but more than likely, like I said, they repositioned her and they used some sort of diffusion to soften that light. And that's probably just right over out of frame here. And so you got the sun, that's the key light, and then you've got that coming through. Now, based off of how dark this part of her face is, I'm guessing they used a negative fill, is my guess. And so they're going to put a floppy up right here, and to, you know, to increase that, that contrast on her face. So, sun here, ding, 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 ding. Diffusion here to push that light through. Um, possibly a bounce board underneath here to, you know, get, get some of that underneath there. And then I'm guessing a floppy there. That's my guess. And here we just got hard light hitting the back of his head. We've got a bounce board. It's probably, it's, I don't know how big that is. I mean, it's it could just be right out of frame somewhere. It's, it's probably like a six by six ultra bounce or like an eight by ultra bounce, honestly. And it's just sitting over here out of frame, returning light onto his face. So yeah, pretty, uh, pretty neat. I, I love, I love, I love doing that. So let's move on. All right. This is a cool scene. Um, all right, so first things first, catch light. Got one catch light in his eye. And that's giving us, I think that there's a lamp. Yeah, I think there's like a lamp. So they're motivating light from the light, from the lamp over here. And it's return and it's popping light onto his face there. Dude, my arrows, I don't know what it is with my arrows. Those are terrible. And um, then the next thing that they're doing is we've got this lamp back here, and they've got some sort of light giving him some light on this side of his face. Now, there's probably there's something that's giving some return here unless all of that is just coming from whatever light is back over here. Um, but the shadows are not super deep on that side of his face. I don't know. Possibly. I don't know. But this, I mean, this is a pretty simple setup again. Like, um, I mean, if you know anything about Hoytman, Hoyt Van Hoytma, he, you know, he did, um, If you know anything about Hoyt Van Hoytma, you know that he loves very natural lighting. He likes to keep things pretty naturally lit um, or, you know, making it look natural and keeping it simple. He's a very simple DP, um, which I love. I love his I love his style of cinematography. Um, so he's keeping it simple. Like, I think he's you know, he's got a bulb in there and that's brightening up everything in here. Um I don't know. He maybe has like a light just to give some, some fill back here, but I mean, he's keeping it, he's keeping it simple. So I love that. Um, yeah. And then, you know, this light, I don't know if, uh, again, the, 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 the roll off is pretty, pretty soft. We're not getting a shadow underneath his nose here, so it's hard to tell exactly. But I mean, this is this is super. I mean, it's it's a nice split light, um, but with a very soft roll off. Let's go to this one. This is really cool. I love the color in this one. 
Um, has a lot of green in it. So, okay, first things first, catch light in his eye. Pretty, I mean, you know, it's super sighty. We've got split light going right down the middle of his face. Um, the shadows are, it's pretty soft still, you know, for the most part. Um, and then the next thing, the thing that I'm noticing is this edge on his face here. You can see like right there, you know, right on that kind of where his face is, uh, the bone structure, there's that very definitive line between those two sides of his face. And so if there wasn't a light back there of some sort, whether it's an actual light or it's just some sort of a bounce returning light, you know, you would not be getting that there. Ooh, hold on. You wouldn't be getting that there. Um, yeah, but again, simple. I'm sure that they've probably got, you know, I say simple, but <laughs> he probably has um, outside of these windows, he's probably got some massive, you know, massive lights punching through because the thing with cinematography is, is, is being able to create and shoot something for a long period of time without like the sun moving. So this is, this is probably some lights outside pumping through there, um, so that they could shoot this a thousand times and it would look no different. That cinematography. Let's go on to Einstein. So, if you've seen any behind the scenes of this scene, um, it's a little bit of a cheat, but I I know for a fact that over here, left of camera, they had like a massive eight by ultra bounce returning light here, and. I mean, you can just tell there's no way that they would have this much information here with how strong the sun is there um, if if they didn't have some sort of a bounce. Let's look at the catch light. So we've got something here underneath, you know, it, on this side of his eye right there. Um, that could be some sort of a bounce, just bring in some light up underneath here. There may be, I mean, with how soft that sun is, that could be like an opal or something, just softening that up just a tad. So he could have like an opal here and then just an ultra bounce, um, you know, outside of frame over here. And uh, yeah, I mean, you can see the ultra bounce right there in his eye. Um, but again, simple, pretty, pretty simple. They were definitely using the sun and, uh, just capturing that for realsies. I can't think of, well, you know, hold on. I mean, how hard that shadow is there, there might not be some sort of diffusion. If it is diffusion, like I said, right here, it's, it's very, it's very thin. It's like an opal or like a, yeah, just something super, super thin. Um, and then, yeah, the bounce, uh, the ultra bounce from camera left. So beautiful shot, beautiful, uh, beautiful cinematography. Um, all right. And this is the last one. This is a cool shot as well. All of it's just all good, dude. It's just all like, mm, this movie, I just, it was so good. So, all right. First things first, we've got this catch light here. And that's got to be just a bounce coming from here, returning light from this hard light that's coming from camera left. Um, it very well could be just a light coming from outside the window. You can kind of see, you know, we've got this flare uh, or the kind of a bloom um, coming from that window, it looks like. And so the light could just be coming through there and just hitting him. Um, he might have something inside as well, but you can tell it's a very, uh, it's a hard light. We've got, you know, hard shadow there, hard shadows. 
and that's a very hard shadow on this side of his face. And then, yeah, I think just... Um, it seems like... I mean, there's like this little catch of light in his eye here. But I'm guessing that's just the light... This light hitting his eye. Um, it seems it seems like it because there's... Yeah, I, I would assume so. Um... However, you know, so this, I don't know, this, this is pretty, this light is pretty warm. He might be using, instead of like a, maybe like a, like unbleached muslin or something, because that's, that's, that's pretty warm. Like, this seems like that's pretty, the light coming from over here is pretty, uh, pretty, co not cool, but like, it just seems like the color temperatures are different. Yeah. And then, you know, I don't think actually there might be some sort of an edge here. I mean, like if you see how there's like just that that pop of light coming from over his shoulder. It's just brighter, you know, it's it's just by a little bit, unless that's just light with, you know, the angle. I mean, cause this light, this is, this edge is pretty strong. Um, and it's coming from pretty far behind him. So it could just be some of the light just hitting him from that. All right. So that is reverse engineering. That's, uh, taking something and reverse engineering and breaking it down and figuring out just, you know, like I said, I'm making guesses here. I don't know exactly what they did, but like I have a better idea now just by sitting here and dissecting these images. And I'm getting an idea of what Hoytman, Hoyt Van Hoytma does. Um, you know, every cinematographer, I feel ha they kind of have like their thing, like what they typically do. And you can see that he does a lot of bouncing this kind of stuff, you know, um, it, it's a very natural look. So that's how we learn lighting for film. You know, I, I film school is one of those things. I, I didn't go to film school. Um, but I, they do, I think at least they do this kind of stuff where they really break down and look at what's going on. So you don't need to go to film school to do this. Just go get shot deck download these images and just break it down. I, and what I'm using for this app, it's freeform on iPad. Um, and I can just, you know, draw on it. And, uh, then I've got all of, all of this here. So, so yeah, try this at home, you know, get a little bit better at cinematography every day. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. Got lots of stuff coming out always. If you don't follow me on Instagram, go follow me there, Josh Miller DP. And also, if you're new here, I have free storyboard templates. I'll put the link down in my description. It's just something I want to give away for free because it's a tool that I, I feel like every cinematographer should have. So go download those. Totally free. It's just yours. And uh, yeah, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you on the next one.